New York's public housing system has been plagued, as we all know, with problems for decades. And tonight, our Lisa Evers went one-on-one -on -one with the head of NYCHA to hear how he hopes to turn things around. We've been telling you about many problems facing NYCHA residents, like no heat, mold, broken elevators, lead paint, and rats. I took these concerns to the top in an exclusive sit-down interview with NYCHA chair and CEO Greg Russ, where he explains his blueprint for change. And I try to envision myself in their place, and I can't, so we have to fix it. NYCHA Chair Gregory Russ tells me in an exclusive sit-down in his office that the challenges were much worse than he realized when he took the job in 2019. He quickly realized there were no quick fixes. I can go in the unit and I can fix your leak. I can say, okay, I'm replacing your pipe in the kitchen. But that could open up a leak below or above that same unit because the risers are bad. Decades of neglect, mismanagement, and no major improvements have brought NYCHA to a crisis. Russ says $40 billion is now needed to overhaul 110,000 apartments and their operating systems. The lack of a, a capital reinvestment strategy right. and our families getting poorer and more vulnerable, um, I think those two things have driven uh, a lot of the issues that we face. All solutions lead to the same conclusion, more money. He's proposing a blueprint for change, new construction from the inside out. We got to leave the public housing program and go to the housing voucher program. And most residents have correctly pointed out, wait a minute, vouchers aren't like public housing. The rules are different. Some NYCHA resident leaders are skeptical about the voucher plan, also known as Section 8. They fear they will be displaced. Russ's plan would rely on a hybrid all-public model using the NYCHA Preservation Trust. In addition, he says, it would generate money for major improvements and become sustainable long-term. This is the big fear. Every, we are not designing a program to move people out. We're designing a program to make your apartment better so you can move back in. The NYCHA Preservation Trust will go before the State Assembly for a vote this year. We've had so many plans and so many initiatives. We have to deliver one that's going to be permanent. Russ tells me that doing things the same way would mean problems only get worse for residents and that without an entirely new system, the very future of public housing in New York would be in jeopardy. In lower Manhattan, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox.